So we're tasting the bar! <laughs> You're watching Green Vanilla Tastings. My name is Icy. And I'm Tatum. I'm so excited actually. We're going to be reviewing uh, the newest release of uh, Emperor Distillers. It's yeah. the Bar Pink Gin, the Bar Lime Gin, and... And of course, the, the Classic Premium. People might be familiar with the bar way back when we were drinking, especially when we were younger. No? So this is a totally different bottle. Yeah. So it's gin. Kudos to uh, Emperador because they're not really going to be able to do it. Yeah, because they're not going to be able to do it. They're not going to be Everybody is releasing like, you know, local, uh, local uh, gins right now. And, and I like it because yeah. they're upping their game with the mm. local gin market. Yeah, so it's getting really exciting. No? If you look at the, the, the label, it's very trendy looking. It's very hip, very young. Um, actually, I went to the launch for the bar before sa the, the island recently, and puro baguettes ang nandon. Mm, kasi nila puntahan yun eh. Hindi ka nila hindi ako sabi na baguettes. Hindi na ako baguettes. Kasi sabi nila this is the new gin now for the new generation. So let's try it. Let me open this. <laughs> so actually, even before you before we smell it. When you're looking at the bottle, you can already tell. You know it already you know, what to expect. It suggests yeah. already what to expect. Like, you know, it's pink, so maybe it's berries. So, obviously. Something sweet. Something sweet and. Uh, mm, okay. Pouring it out. Very, so very cherry like. Look at it. Super it's a nice color shot. Pink like hues. Hues, yeah. Actually, you know, pink right now is very in. Even millennials. Pink gin. Pink, pink gins. Yeah. Even pink in mm. itself. Like, even brands, you see so many brands using pink colors. And millennials actually created what you call the millennial pink. And I'm millennial pink. Ano ba yan? You'd see usually <laughs> in, mga, in social media, mga influencers, mga bloggers, they have mga different hues of pink. So they call it the millennial pink. There's even a blush, huh? Mm. Na pink, millennial pink. Well, what, my, what more I'm actually interested in is like the smell of this, the nose. I can smell like fresh berries in it. You know, like parang it's pag like, umuha ka ng strawberries as hinati mo sa gitna. Yeah. And then inamoy mo just before you're eating it. Ito yung amoy niya actually. It can actually gives the nose of a cocktail already. It smells like a cocktail mm. for me. Actually, parang pwede kong lagyan na lang ng ice to and then I can just drink yeah. it straight. Eh, no? mm. It smells like fresh berries. Uh, maybe a little bit of like a hint of like maybe some uh, grapefruit siguro. Uh, a little bit of raspberries. But definitely fresh, 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 fresh strawberries. And floral, floral notes. Mm -hmm. They want floral notes and shot. This is actually, I think, the first pink gin in the local market, no? Yeah, yes, it, it is. It is the it first is. pink gin. Okay, so, so cheers. Like, let's try it. Mm, Alam mo, okay. ice na lang talaga ang sure. kailangan nito. Yung nose niya, it's the same as what you'd expect. So, hindi ka bibiglain na. Ano to? Okay, it's very cherry, very strawberry-ish. So, anything bearer. <laughs> and berries. berries. Yeah. I think it's no longer an ano right now na if you're drinking pink, it's just for women. Oh, definitely not. I think this is like a crowd favorite for yeah. sure. Okay, let's try this one, the green right. one. So earlier we had pink and now we have green. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dati, nung araw, pag iinom ka ng gin, may kasamang mixer na lime. Araw talaga. Siyempre, feeling ko nung araw, nung matanda, nung very sad. Smell. It's a parang grassy, minty. Smell? Mm -hmm. There's a hint of juniper there, pero na naamoy mo agad yung lime notes niya eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very sweet. Really? I find it sweet. It's, so, it's limey. Limey. Yes, yeah, so lime, lime, slimey. Citrus. Not slimey. It's yes, the limey. citrus notes in it. And then it's quite sweet actually. It's actually very light. I was expecting more parang pungent lime. And I mean, parang Meron island lime. mix na lime. Oh. Maganda yung tama niya kasi smooth yung entry niya sa'yo eh. Hindi yung parang pag ininom mo yung parang sunog kagad yung throat mo. Plus, Ito smooth siya. Yung usual smooth na lime mix, pag ako tinitigaw ko yun, parang feeling ko panlinis ng banyo. Pero parang, <laughs> it's but not. But definitely, it's a lot better. Not, this is actually really, really good. If you're really trying something, if you're used to that, you have to try this one because it's gonna give you a different experience. So, I see. This one, the third bottle is actually the clear one. So, if we're it's familiar the, it's with the, the, It's the third bottle, but yeah. actually it's the base of the, the two other gins is that it? we presented earlier. Uh, so, it's the base of all yeah. the... Uh, no. So, if so you this is the pure the, version. It says it's got juniper. Look at the label. Mint. Mm -hmm. Coriander. So, coriander is one soy. Mm. Come on. Um, thyme. Orris fruit. It's got thyme and almond, almond actually. Mm. That's interesting. Grapefruit that. as well. And grapefruit. Okay, yeah. so let's try this one. It's very interesting to try. I like the sound of that. Pouring spirits in a glass. You know what? If I close my eyes and I smell this one, 
and maybe do like a blind tasting with other like different gins that are really really premium as well. Yeah, you Hindi wouldn't. Malayo. Yes, you wouldn't think it's a local gin Talaga. that's very affordable. Mm -hmm. I can smell the juniper. It's very prominent. Very piney notes, so a little bit of uh, nice. grassy. I like it. Again, grassy. I like the taste. I like the the way it enters your your tongue. It enters your. Oh, you mouth. tasted it already? Uh, sorry, no, na ako. <laughs> Excited. Definitely, pweding pang ano to? Pweding pang laban sa talagang mga premium gins. To. Tama ka. Pag no joke. Pag tinabi mo siya sa mga premium ones, tapos siko compare mo. I wouldn't know that uh, it's a local gin. I but I would know. love to know how this fares with with uh, the other with gin tonics. Kasi one of the mm. worst things when you're we're having a gin and tonic or if you select a gin, pag ginawa mo na siyang gin and tonic, nawawala na yung namamatay gin. Yung Parang namamatay siya. Notes nung nawawala. Yeah. Ito may so, long juniper finish. Let's bring in the tonics. Okay, so we're gonna try the pink one first with the gin and tonic. So there you go. That's a red a peppercorns and strawberry and tonic water. That's it. So it's very refreshing. Very strawberry and minty at the same time, so it's very easy to drink. If you're trying it for the first time, this would be your go-to. So get the oils into the tonic just like that. You can drop it in if you want as well. Oh, this one's got play in it because they're spicy. And then there's the layer of the, the peel no mm. orange. Sarap. Now we understand why this thing is going to be a crowd favorite. That's going to be a crowd pleaser, totally. If you have a lime or a slice of a uh, lemon and then tonic water, then you're set. A little so bit of this, a little, I'm pretty. Oh, pretty, pretty. Oh, oh. pretty. It's, a little. <laughs> it's so pretty, you don't want to drink it. I love it. The nose pa lang, oh. Parang may entrance ka, tapos yung amoy mo agad. <laughs> I, I like the Parang nakakalaway, no? Mm -mm. If you want a classic one, you slice a little bit of a lime wedge and then a lemon lemon slice, lemon slice. and then a tonic, and you're set. And then if you want like a deeper character to it, you add the herby mm -hmm. notes and you add the Granny Smith. Right. Okay, so, so there, there you go. go. So, so our last bottle. Mm -hmm. I super love green bell pepper, so it's usually a staple now so in the kitchen. Ko. And then a little bit of ano, because the grapefruit is a little bit bitter and a little sweet. People won't uh, drink bell pepper with their gin and tonic, but once they try it, they really like. You know, during the the lunch, we were making people try it, and they're loving it. it needs to sit, especially the dill. It's minty, refreshing at the same time. It's herby. It's very light. You've seen the serves that we tried. You can actually experiment. We encourage you to experiment with it. There are notes that's different from ours. There, there, your palate can be different. These are just suggestions, so yeah. please go wild with you know the flavors you want to use with them. Maybe let's try you know cocktails because the bar created uh, cocktails for us for today, and we're gonna try it. So what's the first uh, cocktail from the bar? Let's try it. So we have our first drink here, uh, courtesy of the bar. So the recipe is actually a lychee martini. Well, you definitely can't go wrong with it. I, yeah, you know, you, you're gonna end up like drinking like you know, it's five, six, really seven, good. eight yep. of these, and and you'll never know what happened to well, you. I don't after know if that. you're gonna be sorry, but for sure you're gonna be. It's really good. So this is a classic cocktail. It's called the gimlet. So it's basically sugar, syrup, lime, lime. and and the, the gin. The gin. Just nice and balanced now. Simple okay. to make. Anybody can make it. And it's a classic drink. Classic. It's a classic drink. I am a fan of Negroni. I love Negroni. I always have that every. every I'm a fan of the bar, bar actually. <laughs> Good. I like that. True. <laughs> Definitely. I'm amazed. Like, I'm totally amazed. The bar, uh, premium gins, all the whole line. Your pink gin, your lime. And this uh, premium gin, it definitely uh, holds its own with regards to uh, gin categories. So that's it for the episode of Drink Manila Season featuring the three variants of the bar, pink, lime, and the premium dry gin. And before we forget, we'd like to invite you to all the Drink Manila bar shifts. Yes, we're going to be November, featuring the bar. November to December with the bar. In Poblacion. So we're going to be in Poblacion. Please watch out for the dates. Please go to at Drink Manila on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter so that you can see the updates where and when it's going to be. You know, Drink Manila events are always fun events to go to. If you'd like to see all the recipes that we have that we featured for today, please visit www.drinkmanila.com. And like I said, for updates, go to our Drink Manila at Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you have any comments, 
Please comment on the comment section and below. And see you in our next Drink Manila Tastings. Goodbye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> no, we're going to give you a kiss.